Hey, what's up guys? Dan Krause here again with Southwest Michigan PDR. Today's video, we've got a lateral tension system that I have had from Kiko. This was their prototype. Uh, it does not work very good. Um, I realize it's a prototype, but this rod is way too small. If you put really very much pressure at all on this thing, I mean, if I can do that with my hands, that's not gonna, that's not really gonna put enough tension on a panel um, that's severely damaged. So that's why you see guys using porta powers or you know really bigger, like a lot bigger uh, tension systems, like Metal Medic, for instance. So, uh, but. They have these nice boots, um, you know, that go on here. One just floats, one is a float, and the other side spins, and, you know, it puts the tension on the panel. So, very, very useful um, for small dents, this one is. But if you have anything that you really need significant tension on, we're going to have, you got to have something like this. Something that's a little bit beefier. So this is a uh, 5 8 rod that I purchased. It was like 10 bucks. It's not too long. It's not too short. I thought it was just about right. I didn't even have to cut it. Came this length. Um, and then I just bought some uh, random little hardware things. I mean, I had like you know, 15, 20 bucks into this whole setup. Uh, outside of obviously these. You could make your own boots. Um, that would slide into, you know, whatever kind of feet you wanted. You could use blocks of wood. I mean, I, there's lots of different options there. But Or, or you could go to metalbank.com. He has some really, really cool, uh, really solid uh, boots. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to use the ones from Kiko. So... Here's what I'm using from Kiko is these the tabs there, the feet tabs, and then the the boots which go on the rod. Um, I just cut up a little piece of oh you know, seven eighths, yeah, seven eighths, and it fits in here, you know, pretty good. Oh, well, that's not it can't be seven eighths. I don't know what size pipe that is, guys. Anyways, all I know is it fits in here. It's not too snug. Ideally, uh, I would want to put a bearing here, and then I could, um, you know, weld the foot to a bearing. That would be um, much better. But I couldn't seem to find a bearing that didn't have that wasn't so long um, that it was going to, you know, make this stand up too tall. You want this rod to be as close to the panel as possible. Um, otherwise, these feet are going to dig into the panel and then cause a bunch of issues. So, it may still be too far away from the panel, even being up here. But, Metal Medics aren't, and uh, people seem to really like his. I haven't tried his out, but we're going we're gonna to give it a go this way, and I might make a new one later. So... Here's how this is going to work, like so, this will go on the feet, so I'm going to weld this solid here, and then we'll either, I'll either just weld some washers on, you know, you know, either end of the, the bolt here, so that it can't move, all it can do is spin, the other side, the same, same thing, really. All I'm going to do is weld this um, to this big coupling nut. Uh, outside of that, I'm just going to weld this nut on here. And that's it. So, very simple. Very simple setup. I thought about making, I'll make maybe a little plastic handle or something. Um, outside of that, I think it should work. So I'm going to build this thing real quick. Should only take me maybe 20 minutes. And uh, I'll get to smashing some stuff and doing some demo work. We'll see if we can uh, test this thing out. So, all right, so here's another interesting thing. This ball here, you can actually buy it 
like any Menards or hardware store. It has a 5 16 end there. So, yeah, you could put this on a rod and use it kind of the same way this one works. Except this one, I think, was like f over $50. And this cost me two. I think it was two dollars and fifty cents so and it's a solid it's solid plastic so i don't think you're gonna break it yeah could be useful the other thing i'm gonna try out is i'm gonna make some um kind of big knockdown tools for like really large crowns out of some uh, cork and leather. So stay tuned for that. I'll, I'll make a video on that soon. So, all right, back to the tension bar. All right, so there we go, guys. Lateral tension system. Uh, pretty simple. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Just gotta tighten these lock nuts up, and then this will swivel, and this one's locked in. So yeah, it should work. I mean, the feet are relatively close, so. You know, that's going to be a little weird. Well, I guess not. It'll work. Yeah, I am going to cut these down a little bit. I think these are just way too long. So I'm going to cut these down probably about three quarters of the way. And uh, yeah, we'll do a quick demo and see how this thing works. It's super, super solid. I mean, you should be able to bend... Uh, some serious metal back in order with this thing. So, uh, so we can see this door's been painted before, so it might not be the greatest candidate, but whatever, we'll give it a try anyways. So here we got a pretty good sized dent. So here's the glue I'm using from Metal Medic, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Hero Glue. Uh, yeah, this stuff pulls really hard, sticks really good, works great. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I uh, hope that was helpful to you. Um, and also, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to make this the exact same way I did. Obviously, I mean. Um, I would recommend using a 5 8 rod. Uh, you can see it has just a slight bend to it. There's a lot of pressure on there still. So I'll do another video um, and then I'll, I'll like link this video to that video um, on fixing the rest of this damage. Uh, while I have the tension on here, I want to go in here and start picking away at this area. And then next I would tackle this area and I'll probably put that 
I'll probably move this over here and that, I mean, this should come out pretty easy, but anyways, uh, thanks for watching the video guys. Please subscribe for more content. See ya.